Greetings, I am the wrestling fan. I may not be the best wrestling fan, but I am the finest. WWE's final pay-per-view of 2015, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs, is now in the books. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what my thoughts were on it. So, I'm going to give you my reactions to every single match, and then my overall thoughts on the pay-per-view itself. So, here are my pay-per-view reactions to TLC 2015. Decent match. It was it was fairly good. What bothers me is that did WWE forget that Sasha Banks was one of the first women to ever main event at WWE pay per view, and one of the first ever women to do an Iron Man match to boot. And now she's on the pre-show. WWE. Yeah! New Day wins! Holy shit fuck was that an awesome match. Fucking awesome opener! Bravo. Bravo to all three teams. All three of these teams did awesome. That is how you have a tag team ladder match. There's no damn way any other match is going to top this one. Well, that was the best chairs match I've ever seen. That's something, I guess. Eh, yeah, I mean, that, was, that was a fun match, I guess. But what the hell was the point in eliminating Rowan? I mean, nobody else on the Wyatts was eliminated. Look, the Wyatts going over, yeah, they need a big win. But if you want to make them look really, really strong, why not just have them completely dominate the ECW originals? Why eliminate any of them? Who the hell booked this? Oh, damn. Well, that was a really, really good match, and... I love Dean Ambrose, I'm happy he won the Intercontinental Championship finally, but uh, I'm disappointed because my guy, Kevin Owens, lost. <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was another good match between the two. I like Ric Flair as Charlotte's manager, and I'm actually digging the heel turn with her as long as they don't let her talk on the damn microphone. But if Charlotte's going to be the new big heel, they really got to start turning Paige into a face. And well, I guess she kind of already is. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured would happen. It was passable, well, decent, I guess. It wasn't bad. It hit all the TLC beats that they were supposed to. Roman gets screwed again. I just hope to God this isn't the way they're ending this pay-per-view. Come on, WWE. I mean, this is fine. If you're trying to build Roman, fine. Like, to get him sympathy, I get it. But you gotta end this one with something better. Than Survivor Series. You've got to end it with something big to get Roman over. If this is the way this pay-per-view ends, I'm seriously going to be really pissed off. Holy fucking shit! That is how you win a pay-per-view, WWE. That is how you build Roman Reigns as your top guy. Holy crap! WWE actually did something right! Took a while, but they finally did something right! Holy shit, that was chaotic, realistic? That was awesome!
No pun intended. I mean, I know that's what the WWE Universe always says, but that really was awesome. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, my God. Um, okay, well, um, overall, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs 2015 was... Okay. I, I'd give it... 3 out of 5, honestly. I mean, it was a hell of a lot better than Survivor Series 2015, which gave a 0 out of 5, because it was a worst pay-per-view of the year. This was better. I mean, probably mainly just because it was mainly gimmick matches, but... It had a lot of good content, too. I mean, the opener, the triple threat tag team ladder match between the Usos, Lucha Dragons, and the New Day, holy shit. If you haven't seen it yet, watch that match. Watch it. That was a fantastic opener. Great tag team ladder match. It was so good. A lot of new innovative stuff that at least I've never seen before. Uh, Dean Ambrose, Kevin Owens, and I'm sad that Kevin Owens lost, but I'm glad Dean Ambrose finally got a title again. Maybe he'll defend it every now and then, unlike the United States title. But that was a really good match. Um, hopefully they keep feuding and fighting over the title. Even Paige and Charlotte was a good match. I wish the crowd was more into it, but when you have two heels going at each other, but... I like that match. The main event was entertaining. It was okay. But the aftermath. Holy crap. That is exactly what you have to do to build up Roman Reigns. Some people may disagree with me, but you know what? That was great booking on WWE's part. I can't believe it. I'm actually excited to watch Raw. I, I haven't said that in months. I, I really want to see where this is going. Hopefully they don't fuck it up. <laughs> But anyway, that was TLC 2015 and my reactions to it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, kitties.